Hi, everywhere. And I'm Dr. Angel. I wanted you to see my face before we get started. So I'm going to share my screen now. And here we go. So I'm so excited that you are um, interested in my program. And this is going to give you a little bit more details about um, how I do things that I do. So Hormone Heaven, I'm all about balancing your hormones to live your best life. And I'm Angel. I'm a mom and a wife. I've been um, where you are. Unfortunately, I've had been down and out in the hormones, but I was able to bring them back. And I'm a traditional naturopath. I've seen 7,000 clients in 14 years. And it's really my passion to help women with health. And I've said that this whole time that I've been in business. Um, but count your system, symptoms here. You probably are having these things. That's why you're looking at this right now. Belly fat, gut discomfort, um, weight gain, fatigue, hot flashes. All of these things are hormonal issues. And so my hormonal framework, my hormone heaven framework starts with hair tissue mineral analysis and functional blood chemistry analysis. That is how we do the testing. And then we work on your hormone hierarchy. So that's what we're going to talk about in this lesson. So hormone, um, excuse me, hair tissue mineral analysis, it's also called HTMA. It is a test that measures the minerals in your hair with precise accuracy. It also tells you what kind of toxic elements are in your body. So for instance, um, lead, mercury, things like that. So it gets us a really good idea of what is is happening. And what's cool about the hair is it gives us the last three months of what's going on. So when you get blood work done for these things, it's only telling us immediately um, what's happening. So it gives us a little bit better um, take on your minerals. Now the EPA, the Environmental Check Exchange, actually uses HTMA when they're on the grounds to find heavy metals in people. So they find this a very valuable screening tool. But why, you say, why would we do this? Well, because minerals spark plug our hormones. And without minerals, our hormones can't work. And if we've got toxic, toxic elements going on in our body, like mercury, lead, things like that, aluminum is the one I see a lot, that actually interferes with the hormones as well. So we need to start at the root. Are you getting what you need through your minerals? And are you having some toxins that are keeping those hormones from working? So that's the first thing I like to look at. And this kind of shows you what hair tissue mineral analysis looks like. So this person right here, um, they're low on sodium and potassium. So I'd probably talk to them about maybe doing a coconut cocktail in the morning. They'd have coconut water and some salt in it to get that sodium and potassium up. Um, they've got lead issues going on and beryllium issues. And then these significant ratios here tell us a lot of different things. For instance, the COK may, here may have be telling us that this person needs to eat more food. Yes, I may tell you to eat more food. I have had several clients who started eating eating more when we saw this in their HTMA and they actually lost weight. So let's keep that in mind. Your body needs food. And if we're not giving it enough nutrients, it can't do what it needs to do. Now, functional blood chemistry is looking at blood work that you get from your doctor in just a really different way. Um, it can help us stop minor issues from turning into more serious ones. And when used right, this kind of analysis can really guide you towards better health. So I just kind of wanted to mention some different areas of how conventional testing is different from functional testing. So conventional testing is very disease centered. They want to manage the disease. Everybody kind of gets treated the same. You have this disease. This is the medicine we're going to give you. They look as few as markers as possible because they're worried about insurance and cost reasons. And they'll just say, oh, your numbers look great. Nothing's wrong with your thyroid. But then there's something wrong. So um, with functional blood work, what we're looking at, same numbers, looking at the same thing, but we're looking for optimal health. So you may not be in that range of disease, but you may be before it. What can we do to keep you from getting a disease? So we want to prevent or reverse disease. We want to personalize these plans, right? Instead of being treated the same way. And we're looking for a root cause. That's why I like HTMA and fun fun functional blood, because it really tells us what's happening deep down. Um, and sometimes I put on here subclinical th hypothyroidism. That's probably one of the biggest ways that I see um, conventional testing failing us. And I'll be talking about that. Now, some examples of how um, functional blood ch uh, chemistry and analytes that I look at. So I look at neutrophils. That tells me if you're having a bacterial infection. We look at lymphocytes and monocytes to see if you have a viral infection. We look at eosinophils and basophils to see if you have a parasitic infection. These three infections can be the root cause of so many things. And I'm amazed when I see them in people, like just what's happening. So we can get in there and get that fixed before we start working on those hormones to get those better. Um, in a full blo uh, functional blood chemistry analysis, we're also looking at a full iron panel where you're looking at serum iron, TIBC and ferritin. You're doing that full thyroid panel. If you want to take a picture and take a, a picture of that full thyroid panel and take it to your doctor, typically what they do is TSH and free T4. 
You want all of these that are listed here, that free T4, free, um, free T3, reverse T3, total T4, TSH, TPO, ATA. You want all of those. The TPO and the T ATA are actually autoimmune components. That's something we really need to know if we're going to be working on your thyroid. We need to know if you have an autoimmune component. So even if you don't use me, that's a really good way to look at your thyroid and see how it's doing. When we look at the minerals in your blood, we can also tell pretty quickly if you're in an adrenal state. Now, this is something we can see in the hair as well. The hair actually tells us if you've been in it a long time or not, but we can look right now and tell whether you have an adrenal issue with the sodium and potassium. With your components, the ALT and the AST, that tells us if you're having liver and detox problems. Um, total protein and globulin can tell me if you have a leaky gut. And fasting insulin is going to let us know if you're insulin resistant. And that is really important. I actually feel like that is better than... Um, anything else when we're looking at like A1C and glucose, because you, fasting insulin tells us if you're insulin resistant, and that's before you become a diabetic. And we really need to do that if we're going to work on some things. Um, so next, after we do those testings, then we're looking at hormone hierarchy. So what that means is that cortisol is our base hormone, and it has to be balanced before insulin, thyroid, and sex hormones. So cortisol gets balanced, then insulin needs to be balanced before thyroid and sex hormones. So in that order. So when we're looking at cortisol, what are we looking at? Well, people with cortisol issues typically have low energy, anxiety and overwhelm, belly fat, stress is what makes us have too much cortisol. So that is definitely something to look at. In my program, not only do you get the normal resources for all the hormone stuff, but I actually have a new um, stress, a small stress um, program that you can do as well to help with the stress because I've seen it's become such an issue. Then we're looking at insulin. Some of the things that you have with insulin are like skin tags, feeling hungry even after a meal, um, being hangry, frequent infections, kind of like what we talked about earlier, those infections that can come because insulin is resistance. Um, and it is the root cause of numerous issues. So this is an area that I really like to focus on because we do see so many problems that originate from insulin resistance, particularly when it comes to hormones, infertility, PCOS, things like that. We see a lot coming into insulin resistance. And unfortunately, menopausal symptoms as well. <clears throat> and then we're looking at the thyroid. Um, this is the area we definitely want to test and not guess, as I was talking about earlier. But the, the symptoms you may have are things like fatigue, unexplained weight gain, or you just can't lose weight. You have a sensitivity to cold. You're losing your hair. You're having heavy cycles. These all things can be fatigue. Um, infertility actually, excuse me, thyroid. In, infertility actually can be a thyroid issue as well. And then we're talking about sex hormones. So we fix those three. We fix that cortisol, the insulin, and the thyroid. A lot of times, by the time we get to sex hormones, all your symptoms are gone <laughs> We've because we've fixed the bottoms. But if they're not, some of the symptoms could be acne, heavy or real um, irregular cycles, excess body hair, hot flashes, infertility, low libido, vaginal dryness, those kind of things. So then we start working on the sex hormones. And this, excuse me, is the last in the hormone hierarchy. Now, imagine all your symptoms are gone. You're sleeping well. You're waking up with energy. You got only, you're not hungry or hangry. You're losing weight. What are you going to do with all that newfound health? So this is what some of my clients said. Um, they haven't gotten this much sleep in days. You know, that sleep is a big thing that I notice with my clients. Um, I had one client tell me that they enjoyed working with me because I'm methodical and I work from lab tests and I'm not throwing a bunch of stuff on the wall and hoping it works. I really, I've been doing this a long time. Now, obviously there's sometimes things happen that don't work and we move to something else, but it's, it's very a thoughtful process. And then finally, this last client said, this is one of the most eye-opening experiences I've ever had. Angel answers so many questions. I've had for so long that so many doctors dismiss and disregarded. And that's really my goal is to really help you maybe even work through the medical system if you have something going on, have the right questions to ask. But more importantly, my goal is to make you feel better, have more energy, have that get up and go to do everything you want to do in your life. Now, this is a six month program, a hormone heaven is, and it includes texting, coaching, and monthly phone calls. You're constantly in touch with me as little or as much as you want. Um, it includes the hair tissue mineral analysis. There's no um, fee for that. It's included in it. Um, it's a, I give you a personalized hormone heaven framework. So we work month by one month to get you where you need to be. I have more than 200 resources in my Hormone Heaven program, and that's growing. And I also just recently, like I said, added a stress program as well. You get discounted supplements and discounted functional testing. So say, for instance, um, we're in, you're in the sex hormone. We've got everything else fixed, but you're still having some issues and you want to do a Dutch test. You get that in a less expensive way than other people would do who are not in the program. And this whole program starts at just less than $9 a day. 
So what are your next steps? Fill out the form located on this webpage. I'll contact you within 24 business hours via text once you have completed the form and then get ready to feel your best. I really hope that you're interested in joining the program. Thanks so much.